serious violence. As you know, on November 5th, Steve Bannon in a Facebook Live video called for beheadings of Dr. Fauci and FBI Director Ray for not acting more favorably toward President Trump. Twitter banned Bannon for these remarks. Uh, you removed the video, uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, but on Thursday, you reportedly told Facebook employees that Bannon had not violated enough policies that he should be banned from Facebook. My question to you is, how many times has Steve Bannon allowed to call for the murder of government officials before Facebook suspends his account? Senator, as you say, the content in question did violate our policies and we took it down. Um, having a content violation does not automatically mean your content, your, your, your account gets taken down and the number of strikes varies depending on the amount, the, the type of offense. So if people are posting terrorist content or child exploitation content, then the first time uh, that they do it, then we will, we will take down their account. Um, for other things, it's, it's multiple. Will you commit to taking down that account, Steve Bannon's account? Senator, no, it's that that's not what our policies would suggest that we should do um, in, in this case. Well, I'm very concerned that, in fact, Facebook seems to have a record of making accommodations and caving to conservative pressure. And the president has tried to use an executive order on Section 230 to, again, bully or browbeat and exert pressure on you and others in this industry. Uh, they're, in effect, working the refs and they're winning. Let me ask you about